Welcome to the Wildcat, everybody. Wildcat Garage with DJ Triple J. And uh, this is part two for the uh, 06 Hot Wheels GTO Holden. <laughs> it's not really a Holden. It's a Monero. It's the 06 Pontiac GTO. Yeah, I took it apart yesterday. And um, you can see I have it in pieces. I'm going to fit some black fire tires on it. And uh, what I got going on here is, uh, you can see I got the one tire on, and um, I got to deal with the clearance issue. So that's what we're dealing with. Okay, but first, I want to finish the rest of the story. All right, so. As I was taking the wheels off that little truck, the little mosquito that was down in the Aussie versus USA, uh, as I was getting ready to pull off the faster than ever, I started looking at it. I started to feel bad. I really started to feel bad. I was. It was almost like I was pulling a, the wings off a fly and let it struggle for a while before I squashed it. Anyway, I I realized that it actually was it was a pretty cool little casting, and I do plan to get it again. Here's a. Look at that little front end. Isn't it cute? Yeah. It's a skinny... <laughs> Hot Wheels, was they were playing around with shapes and stuff. They had some with a real fat front end and then a skinny back. And, you know, those probably went down the track pretty good. But they were so weird looking, I didn't even bother to race them. But I might revisit those again. You know, oddball fantasy cars or designer hangover cars or whatever. But anyway, that was just uh, kind of interesting. So yeah, this car's going to be fast, this GTO here. But let's get down to the real business. Um, we had uh, the wheel swap issues, and um, I had to take them off the, the Commodore, this fancy guy right here. And uh, anyway, uh, I went ahead, and here's the two cars. This is the this is a Roadrunner. What year is this? It's a Plymouth Superbird is what this is. Okay. And if you look, this has got the perfect front wheels for the, the, the SS Commodore casting. Okay. And so does this. It's a, this is a whipped creamer too. This as well has the proper wheelbase. Now, with the Superbird, you get more bang for your buck because you get the larger wheels here in the back. And those will fit smartly on the back of your uh, new hold and that you're going to modify. All right. Um, this casting is going to cost you some money because it's a, an actual car and it's a classic. And as you all know, this thing sucks on the fat track. It just, you know, if it loses speed, it just tips over. So I personally don't like them. I only have, I have the ones in my collection and that's where they're going to stay is on the wall. And everything else I'm going to... I'm going to take the wheels, man. I'm going to pillage. So, I'm going to put the wheels on the... Uh, okay, this Whip Creamer 2, though, this is uh, the second version of an original Hot Wheels um, classic that came out, you know, probably 1970, and when they started getting a little bit more bold and a little crazy with their designs. But it was fast. The real thing was fast. This is a little light, shaved-down version of it. But it's got the perfect wheelbase. To fit on the Holden. These you can probably find for pretty cheap on eBay. Of course, you got to get there before I do because I'm got a search going. Every one of these stupid whipped creamers, I'm gonna get them for a buck because <laughs> nobody wants them. This is like, oh, what is this stupid car? It's not real. Well, it is real because it's gonna be a Holden. <laughs> All right, so that's what I got in store here, and I'm gonna do a little experiment too. Um, as you know, I've been a professional disc jockey nearly all my life, and uh, I've been a friend of the industry, a promoter of the industry, recognized by the industry, and uh, I can't see why, you know, going, taking the proper procedures, why I can't have a little bit of music and promote the artists that I love. And so I'm going to do that. This is going to be in the background. But I'm going to give you, this is like an experiment. So I'll do a, I'll do a redo of this video if this thing gets taken down. But it really shouldn't because I, I think I have the formula figured out. If not, 
I will make the phone calls because I know who to talk to in the industry and I can get this taken care of. Okay, so uh, without any further ado, let's see if uh, the TV screwed me up. Okay. We got a little, little river band here. Man on Your Mind. This band's out of Australia. One of my favorite bands. This is particular songs off the greatest hits. Triple J in the house. Welcome to the Wildcat, everybody. Okay, I'm going to fix this thing here. Without headphones, it's hard to get the blend in the mix. And this is an experiment. This is not YouTube music, man. This is the real deal. Okay, I'm going to shut up and you guys can just watch. No slop. I used to play this song sometimes at weddings when I was DJing. At the end of the night when people are starting to get drunk and nobody's been all, they, were, they weren't all sensitive about the lyrics. You know, oh, you're going to jinx the wedding. Yeah. Well, have a few more drinks and shut up. <laughs> Because it's time to rock, everybody. Old folks, go home. Problem solved here. I'm not going to use one of these. Secret is, slide this gasket over the shaft. And it gives you a suspension lift. But this is a good tire. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to probably have to turn this down a little bit. Because this is just background music, but... But I'm going to do this on my channel, and it's going to be bona fide music in the forefront, racing in the forefront. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to DJ. I'll do separate shows with music and only music, but I'll feature cars. We'll have intermissions. So you can sit there and put my channel on, and you can rock out, and you can watch racing. Or you can open up two windows, play the music on one, and I'll sync it in with the races. But it's gonna be cool, all right? This holding's badass. Okay, she's going underneath the knife. All right, little river band for you there. Triple J in the house. That was man on your mind. And if you want to figure out where you can buy the greatest hits of Little River Band, uh, you can check in my credits. You know. Okay, I'm gonna pause the music for now. Oh wait, we got the night owls. I can't, I can't stop this song. Back to back, LRB, Little River Band, Triple J in the house, playing you some TV music. Yeah, I used to own a bar. Woo!
Can I see that? This is where it's going to rub. I want my tire on the outside of the wheel for stability through the corner. Great album. All right. So obviously I'm not going to take the Dremel to this right now. See my spacer slipped in the back. I have to use a more rigid gasket. Yeah, I just stuck a black fire tire in there. <laughs> That's probably annoying. Okay. So, what I have left to do is I gotta drill out my studs. That one's kind of uneven. I need to clip him off. You don't really have to, but I, I just don't like them on there. So I'm going to use my snippers. You want to try to get a level if you can. Okay, hold on for a second, you guys. I'll be back. All right, that segued like crap. Now I had to go do something for my wife. All right. Oh. Well, this is about a hokey production today. Come on. My camera's gonna, my stand's gonna choke on me. Okay. We had some, uh, Oh, we had another car that had a floating front end. Who was it? Oh, this guy right here. Okay. This aggression cannot stand. Take the shorty screws off. Oh, yeah. YouTube and their commercials. Awesome. I'll be having none of that. This be bad. Oh, this one's cool. We've got the Alan Parsons project. This one's called Cirrus. It's the intro in the eye in the sky. It came out in 1982, the year, year I graduated from high school. Chicago Bulls used to use this song as their walk up song when they got introduced in Chicago. Michael Jordan. This also can be found in the Alan Parsons Greatest Hits. Got some floaters here too. I did a wedding one time where I introduced a wedding party to this. And this thing's pretty rocking for an intro song, you know. Wedding interests are usually kind of mundane. And this is like, I'm like, and next we're in the black tux and accompanied by in the peach dress with the big boobs. You know, anyway, it was like, it was really hard to contain myself. At the end, I got a huge round of applause because I guess it sounded pretty cool. <laughs> Eye in the sky. Back in the day, back in the 80s, when we were paranoid about Russia and World War III, in the satellites, the eyes in the sky were being watched by Big Brother. It's 
gonna fit nice. These clips are probably shot, but I'm gonna glue this anyway. Yeah, see they're loose. It's gonna need to be glued. Okay, there's that. Question is, do we go narrow or do we go wide? Wide looks cooler. Uh, I don't know what to do. If we go small and not have to grind. Yeah, but look at that. See, I don't want that going on. Even though it does help the handling. Alright, anyway, this isn't really the song that I, I mean, it's a good song, I like Alan Parsons, but I had something a little more racy in mind, actually, when I do the races, I've got some plans, it'll be pretty cool, alright, where was I, okay, I've got to grind the fenders on the, on the GTO, right here, so I can get the tire to fit, and then I have to, um, I have to uh, put a gasket in, which is going to be kind of like a tire. Only I'm going to use a, a thicker um, failed compound. It only failed because it didn't work well as a tire. It wasn't. Um, it didn't have enough elasticity, but it, it's tight and perfect to fit over a, over the stud, and and it's flexible. So it gives you some adjustment in the back. And I did the same thing on that Mustang, the 2018 gold Mustang with the black stripes, which is really fast. It was a car, car culture Mustang from Hot Wheels. And I did a wheel swap on that and I had to get clearance. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, um, since I can't grind uh, on camera and uh, I'm starting to get a little bit unorganized, because I'm, I'm having fun because I got music on while I'm doing this. I'm in my, I'm in my element. I'm in my environment. So it actually feels pretty good. I have to remember exactly what songs that are on here. So I can credit the artists on my description. And um, see if I follow all the rules that I believe that I need to follow. And see if... Uh, YouTube lets this uh, video stay up. Be kind of cool. Because I'm going to do another one. I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to lead in with some really jamming music. And um, we'll have the, I'll be putting together the GTO. Okay. So this basically is video two, but it's 2A. And so 2B is going to be next. To be or not to be? That is the question. Well, I'll tell you what. This car is aiming to be the fastest GTO, 06 GTO, 164 scale that we ever seen. And uh, I get some good weather tomorrow. She's going to be ready to test on the track. I'm not going to add any weight to her though until I test it without weight. I just want to see how the wheel swap behaves and with the tires. I do that with all my customs. I always try them without weight first and see how they what their handling characteristics are and then I go from there so you guys uh, just uh, hope you enjoyed this so far and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save you a bunch of time and uh, go to work and be prepared for the next video all right this is Triple J and I'd like to thank you all for checking out my channel and uh, until then, I'll see you soon. Trips out. NASCAR is a mess. <laughs> I might do a metal base now. I'll unscrew it, but I don't think I'm going to take it apart yet. All right, guys.